Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. It's a beautiful evening for stargazing. Lucky me. <laughs> the past two nights, in fact. I'm out here tonight to watch the Geminid meteor shower. It actually didn't have a peak this year because the peak was in the middle of the day, so you could choose either the wee hours of the 13th or the wee hours of the 14th. So I watched it last night and I saw a lot, but they're very short. Um, so I'm out here tonight, the wee hours of the 14th to watch it again and see how many I can see. I think I saw about 50 last night. And so I'm hoping for about the same tonight because there are no clouds and it's a beautiful evening. So let's see some meteors. There's Gemini which is the radiant for the Geminid meteor shower. They don't come from the constellation. They just appear to emanate from that area of the sky. Meteor showers occur when the Earth passes through the debris left over from mostly comets, but the Geminids is when we pass through the debris left over from an asteroid, 3200 Phaethon, the only other major Meteor shower that's debris from a asteroid is the Quadrantids in January. And according to NASA, the Gemini meteor shower um, produces about 120 meteors per hour, which is a gross overestimation because it assumes ideal conditions in an extremely dark place. But it is one of the most prolific meteor showers, but it wasn't always that way. In the 1800s, it only produced about 20 meteors per hour. And so according to NASA, it's increasing in productivity and will continue to do so. I've already seen about five, but they're very fast. They travel at 22 miles per second. And so they're just short burst, unlike the Perseus, which produces longer ones with big streamers, but it's always fun to watch a meteor shower, so I'm going to continue to do so. <laughs> wow, I've seen a lot of meteors. This is a really, this is one of the best geminids I've ever seen. Well, usually it rains or snows this time of year, so I haven't seen that many, <laughs> but this is a very good meteor shower, so I'm going to make a time lapse of it and show you what I've seen. But it's pretty cold, so I can't really get in my lawn chair. I have to walk around so I don't get hypothermia. But I'll check in with you later. It's 3.30 and I've seen a lot. Most of them were short. I saw a couple of very long ones that I wouldn't call them fireballs. They were about as bright as Sirius or Jupiter maybe. But boy, it sure was fun. I, I think I have to go in now. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all soon. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off. <laughs>